Stuart Nethercott partners Colin Calderwood in the centre of defence. But it's the midfield which has such an unfamiliar look. Places tonight for the Romanian Ilya Dumitrescu, who's been something of an outcast since coming back from a lone spell in Spain. And Darren Kasky, whose last start was in Jerry Francis's very first match as manager. That's getting on for 14 months ago. Well, although Spurs have plenty of injury problems, they can still play to the system that Jerry Francis prefers. That's a 4-4-1-1 formation. Expect Sheringham just to drop in behind Armstrong and look for Armstrong's runs. He likes to make the runs from centre to right in behind Phil Neville. One more casualty to test the defensive resources of Manchester United. Dennis Irwin with hamstring trouble joins Steve Bruce, Gary Pallister and David May on the sidelines. So Paul Parker is the right back in a defence which also includes William Prunier, United's second Frenchman, getting his second game. It's important that the midfield player for Manchester United is aware of that and he comes over to give cover. Dumitrescu. He's always had plenty to offer in attack. Comes from the other Frenchman. Dumitrescu. Well, we've got a Romanian, a couple of Frenchmen, a Danish goalkeeper here. An Israeli international in Rosenthal, and uh, if ever a sign of things to come after that Bosman verdict in the European courts. In the end, by sheer weight of numbers, Giggs was defied. Rosenthal. Dumitrescu, Manchester United trying to hold the line on the edge of the area, Sheringham trying to uh, split the defensive resistance with his movement at the right time. Yes, they held a high line there, Manchester United, just waiting for the Spurs player just to straight forward and get offside. But that Sheringham, he's such an intelligent player, just timed his run to perfection. Unfortunately, the ball wasn't quite perfect. Dumitrescu. Still Dumitrescu. Edinburgh. Kasky. Well, I was disappointed there from Dumitrescu. You knew he always wanted to come inside onto his right foot. He eventually got the space to hit it with his right foot, but in the end, he ended up doing nothing. From those, but gets it in the second attempt. But just return to the discussion, Martin, about the fact that United had more attempts at goal than Spurs. It was no surprise to me when Spurs went ahead. Sharon had already hit a post. Armstrong hit the crossbar. And they fully deserved to go into the lead. Dumitrescu. 